Hello, in this video, you'll learn how to leverage conditions to personalize your emails. As a marketeer working at a global coffee company, you want to receive customers feedback on the quality and product satisfaction of coffee and coffee machines. Suppose you've created an email with a link to the survey that you want to send your customers. To create a personalized look and feel, let's tailor the content of your email for different recipients based on their responsibilities in the company. First, let's display a different image for a service support manager. Select the column where the image is included. Depending on the recipient's contact or interaction data, you can display content using conditions. Choose the Add Condition Assignment icon or Assign Conditions in the panel. Select Create and the new condition pop-up will appear. Enter a name for the condition. It will help you figure out the underlying logic. Then, define the condition by selecting the personalization attribute, the operator, and the value. In this demonstration, I'll choose contact, function for the personalization, equal to for the operator, and enter service support manager for the value. Proceed to create and save the condition. Once a condition has been created, it is automatically assigned to the active column. The system has copied the content of the standard condition, which you can now modify for the active condition. You can recognize it by the solid border line instead of a dotted line. An icon is now available to remove the conditions and the condition's name is displayed. Now, let's change the image to match the condition we've just created. Click on the image and search for the image you're looking for. I'll choose the coffee maker image for the email for a service support manager. Now you need to understand the logic behind the condition assignment. Service support manager is the condition assigned to the active column with the image. The condition for the service support manager is currently selected. The email recipients assigned the function of service support manager in the system will receive the email with the image of this coffee machine. All other recipients will receive the email with the image of coffee. For the currently active column, you can toggle between the assigned and the standard conditions in the assigned conditions area. By toggling, you can see the effect this has on the block in the email. Next, let's adjust the text for the email for a service support manager. Select the column where the text is included. Click on the icon Add Condition Assignment. Select the relevant condition, in our case Service Manager, then Save. To unassign, the condition checkbox needs to be deselected. Change the text from Coffee to Coffee Maker. Save the email. Click on the Conditions icon to see all existing conditions for this email. You can also edit or create new conditions without selecting a column in advance. By clicking on a condition, you can see which column it is used in and the specific content. You can use personalized preview to see how the conditions are displayed in your email. Enter values for the personalization attributes used in the conditions, such as first name or contact function. Continue to view in English. With further refinement of the condition, the content can be adapted even more specifically to the interests of the recipients. Let's enhance the condition for the service support manager using items of interest as a multiple value personalization attribute. Click the pencil icon to edit. Click Add. Choose item of interest for an attribute. and define the value. Continue to add the second item of interest. When an email is sent, the conditions are evaluated. Identical personalization attributes, in our case, items of interest, such as coffee makers and coffee grinders, are linked with OR. Different personalization attributes, function and item of interest, are linked with AND. Now, the condition is defined for service support managers interested in coffee makers or coffee grinders. 
consider that you can't define a condition that is valid for contacts interested in both coffee machines and grinders. If you require very complex conditions, we recommend using a target group as a condition. For this business use case, I'll remove the items of interest and add a target group instead. For example, this. As a last step, let's send a test email to check whether the content is displayed according to our defined conditions. Select Service Manager as function and the target group top 10% coffee grinder interest level. Then choose Send in English. When the email is sent, the system observes the sequence of individual conditions. Once the first condition match is found, the system copies the content assigned to this condition into the message to be sent. The system transfers the default content if none of the assigned conditions are met when the message is sent. Here, you can see the content for the condition that applies to the service support manager function. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.